Afghanistan. But it turns out that as anthropologists, we often make a distinct, uh, uh, distinguish between different groups, some that are organized tribally and some that aren't. Let me go over the major ethnic groups in Afghanistan. There's the Pashtuns. They make up perhaps um, 40, 43, 45 percent of the population. The important thing to realize about this is they are probably, they are a plurality, but not a majority. In other words, Afghanistan is probably not a place that has a majority, including Pashtuns. Now, Pashtuns deny that. They say we are a majority for political purposes, since in a democracy we consider a majority to be a hallowed state. The majority wants it. It must be right. They want to be a majority. The problem in Afghanistan is they've never done a census, not since 1971. All figures on Afghanistan in terms of ethnicity, population, or anything else are all guesstimates that are validated by repetition. You heard yesterday 30 million people in Afghanistan. Maybe they're 30 million. Maybe they're not. We don't know. Pashtuns say, ah, oh, 55, 60 percent. We don't know. Because, number one, the governments in 10 years have never done a census. And even when they do a census, they don't ask about ethnicity. But you can kind of figure it out by knowing who lives where. So they don't do it. Even the population, the population of Afghanistan in the last census, the Afghans estimated they had 20 million in 1971. They did a census and they found 12 million. And the UN said, you're not such a poor country if there's only 12 million people. Yeah, you're going to lose your aid. The Afghans said, well, the, the survey was flawed. We'll give four million and you give four million. All the statistics you see on Afghans' population during the Soviet war say 16 million. The real figure was 12, the UN gave four, the Afghans gave four, and 16 was repeated until 2001 when people said, there got to be more people than that, and they doubled it. It was 20, 25, now it's 30. Kabul's population is 2 million, 3 million, 4 million, 5 million. Who knows? I tell you that just to be careful because in, in some places they do, for example in India, keep pretty good records. Not in Afghanistan. There's no birth certificates, no death certificates. All right. So we got the Pashtuns. <coughs> the interesting thing about the Pashtuns is, as we saw yesterday, they cross the border. There are more Pashtuns in Pakistan, probably double, than there are in Afghanistan even though they make up the plurality in Afghanistan. For this reason, in terms of politics, the Pashtuns have always called for independence of Pashtuns in Afghanistan. So their maps have the Pashtun area going all the way to the Indus River and down to Karachi, like half of Pakistan. The thing is that it's not clear would that new Pashtun state include Afghanistan, because then the Afghan Pashtuns would be a minority. They don't want to be a minority. They want to be the ruling group in Afghanistan. So. It's freedom for Pashtuns in Afghanistan, unclear in Afghanistan. The Pashtuns have historically provided the ruling groups in Afghanistan. The interesting thing is that over the course of centuries, the ruling group, the Durranis, no longer speak Pashto. They become Persianized. The Persianized group, the lingua franca of Afghanistan,